Hello class, how we doing? Uh, the idea was to get outside and take a walk, but uh, once again, there's just enough wind out here in Western Colorado to uh, uh, temper that. And I don't want that wind blowing through, uh, through that little mic I've got on this phone. So I'm gonna step into the garage by doing a little bit of work uh, for all of you that are not prepping for the end of the world. Uh, there's some of my generators. And then let me go over here and show you my, my gas cans and some spare gas tanks, which is just part of my, uh, part of my prepping plan, just in case. Uh, hopefully I'm wrong, uh, but if I'm not, I'm prepared. If, if I am wrong, everybody wins, including me. So, uh, you know, put a little bit extra food, especially if you've got kids. Uh, get some extra supplies put away because uh, uh, things don't look real promising right now. So I think things are going to work out in the long run, but in the mid and short term, uh, things are going to be a little, a little different. We'll just leave it at that. Um, moving on from that to uh, to what you're here for is your feedback on your papers. Uh, I, for whatever reason, we kind of fell off the rails this week. I don't know if you got in a hurry or some of you just rushed through this thing and mailed it in at the last minute or or what's going on here, but I, you know, there were a couple of them that were really impressive, and uh, uh, if I was impressed, and this isn't about impressing me, but if you earn the score, um, you certainly got credited for that. For the rest of you that are kind of scratching your heads, going, what happened? Uh, I, I'm guessing deep down you know, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and run through that anyway, just so we're all on the same page. Uh, the first big thing, I made some notes, believe it or not, is to hit that critical thinking and that faith part really hard and that self-reflection piece. So remember, um, I got a lot of book reports this time. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but I, <laughs> I, I don't, I can go to Wikipedia myself. All right, how, how, what are your thoughts on this? So what if you did a really good job of that reflection piece and tied it into a, a tragedy that happened in your past? And I'm not looking for drama, I'm just looking for people to apply the material. What does this research mean? What does it mean? How do you apply this to your church, to your community, to your family, to yourself, to your job, to your future? What, how's this going to look in five years, 10 years? Why are we studying this? Why is the university and your uh, your uh, instructor who badly needs a haircut uh, making you study this stuff? Uh, maybe for no reason. Okay, well, there's your there's your thesis. Why does this why is this research not relevant? Who cares? Nobody cares, and this is why. Good luck with that, but you can try it. All right, but but the problem is none of us, not none of us, but most of us don't even have that component in there. What does this mean? Academic work from this point on is about applying the material. It's not about researching and book reports. And I'm gonna harp and harp and harp on this till we beat this thing down. Uh, it's kind of like whack-a-mole. Some of you got it, some of you didn't, some of you didn't, now some of you got it. So let's fix that. If you turn in late work to me, uh, I know life gets in the way, but I usually carve out time on Mondays. Uh, occasionally I get uh, some time during the week, but uh, um, if you turn in late work, um, I'll grade it at my convenience. Sorry, but uh, uh, to quote Fast Times at Ridgemont High, you're on my time now. And uh, I'll get to it when I get to it. Don't, uh, you know, and nobody's been rude or abrasive about it, but I just want to make sure that you understand that if you don't turn your work in by the deadline, I'm not going to turn it around. I pride myself on getting feedback to you as quick as possible, uh, but I, I, I don't feel that urgency. If, you, if you're going to turn in stuff late, then I'll, I'll grade it whenever I get to it. Sorry, it's just the reality. Um, some of you are quoting a lot in your papers. If 50%, 60%, 70% of your paper is other people's work, direct quotes, then what am I reading? What am I reading? I'm not reading anything that, that I can't go out and research. That's one thing I can do really well is research. Uh, I don't want to read your research. I want to read, again, how do you apply this? What does this mean? Uh, what, what does your faith say about this? We're in the midst of a huge culture war right now. Uh, that field is full of, of, of material to talk about. You know, what does this say about abortion? What does this say about LGBT? What does this say about your faith? What does this say about the Bible in school? What does this say about Roe versus Wade? None of you are going there. 
Uh, that This is easy pickings right now. And again, what does this mean to you? What are you dealing with personally that you feel comfortable discussing? You know, how are you going to take this material and apply it? You know, I learned from history and politics and that. You know, it's, it's a perfect lab to study the past and study the world. So, you know, use that material to, to apply it. You know, otherwise you're just going through the motions. I've got a challenge for a couple of you this week. If, if you're gonna carve out an hour or two to, to do your homework this week, double it. What? Why would I do that? Because you need to, okay? Double that time. Get in there, read the material, slow down, enjoy the research, enjoy the process. I know that sounds crazy, but when I finished up my master's thesis and my doctoral dissertation, believe it or not, I was disappointed. I enjoyed it. And it shows. Uh, that shows through your writing. That shows through your research. Take some time. If you're just here to get a grade, you're really missing the boat. Okay? You know, that's like going to church to get a check mark so you get into heaven. It doesn't work that way. Go in, embrace the material, learn from the material, apply the material. Uh, have fun with the material and I know that sounds like it's impossible but trust me it, learning can be fun um, I mean that's what I do is I teach and I still learn I learn way more from my students than they learn from me uh, and I don't mind saying that because you're remarkable and for me to sit here and tell you well I'm smarter than all 15 of my students this semester come on there's no way you bring a lot more to the table. There's a lot for me to pick up and learn from you and vice versa. That's why we have the discussion so you can learn from your peers. Uh, there are no shortcuts in this class, okay? We are halfway almost. By the time some of you see this video, we will be over halfway, all right? So I'm not gonna apologize. Well, I'm working too hard, I'm stressed out. Yeah, it's five week course. That's what it is. That's the reality of it. Sorry, you know? I, I do the same course for 10 weeks, for 15 weeks for, for uh, um, high school students. Uh, they go at a lot slower pace, but they're there with me for 15 weeks and you're not. So, you know, the, the, the devil's in the details here and that's part of the bargain. So I knuckle down and get it done. And if you're doing, you know, 15, 20 hours of work a week or, or five hours a day, that's the, that's, the, uh, that's the contract. And I'm not gonna apologize for that. Um, I, I'm not even going to tell you I like it necessarily, but it works. Uh, if you put the work in, it absolutely works. So uh, uh, knuckle down. Uh, stay with me for two and a half weeks. Give me a, a 100% and, and give me some extra time if you're one of those that are struggling. And uh, I think you'll be surprised. Uh, the rubrics. <laughs> that is what I use to grade your work. So why aren't you using them? Why aren't you self-grading? Why aren't you handing this to your significant other, your spouse? Hate to use that word in a Christian college, but I think we almost need to. Why aren't you letting your brother, your cousin, your sister, your grammar Nazi aunt use that rubric and grade it before you submit it to me? Okay. Uh, one other resource for some of you is BrainFuse. As soon as you log on to Blackboard, it says that. And you can go in to submit your papers and get feedback before you submit them to me. Uh, if you struggled this, if you got below a 60, um, even if you got around a 60, you probably need to start using BrainFuse. Okay, use those videos in that media center. I guarantee if you spend some time with those, if you use some of that extra hour or two this week to do that, uh, you're gonna see a marked improvement in your performance, your grading, your enjoyment of the course, guarantee it. Uh, once again, those book reports have got to go away. This is university level stuff, all right? Nobody wants to read Wikipedia pages. Uh, your peers don't, I don't. Uh, the university uh, overseers don't, the accreditation people don't want to see that. And quite frankly, I, I don't stand for that very well. We have to have people that can think, especially Christians that can think today. Um, we, you know, we're, we're, we seem to be so quick to, to do what the media tells us or do what, what so-and-so tells us or do what our parents expected of us. Let's start to think critically, let's start to think for ourselves, and let's start to think biblically. There are some excellent examples of people that are doing that out there, and they are making a difference. Um, like I tell all my students, when I'm gumming my mashed potatoes at the nursing home, and that's not that far away, you're going to be running the free world. So I only have myself to blame if things don't go well, if you can't think independently. With that being said, I, um, this video is just south of 10 minutes. I'm going to sign off. Give me a call this week if I can help you. 217-691-8707. Dr. John signing out.